because it is super calm and quiet and just a beautiful place here in Elizabeth City. I call it Roanoke Bible College Park because that's what it was when I would come and visit all the time. But now I guess it would be um, Matthew Park. And we're going to take a little tour around. It's not a huge place, but it is beautiful. The only caution that I will give you is <laughs> make sure you watch out for goose poop. Are you ready for this little field trip? We're going to start by walking over here to the rules. I love coming here. I used to ride my bicycle here all the time. But we're going to come over and look at the rules. You look, it's surrounded by water on two sides. Okay, no swimming, no profanity, no alcohol. I think we got that covered. One time when I was younger, actually it was my 16th birthday, we came out here. There was a volleyball net up here, and me and my friends came here for my birthday party. And they have two, well, they I don't know if they had two or more picnic tables back then, but they had some picnic tables and, um, this is where we had my 16th birthday party and then it started raining so then we had to move over to um, Charles Creek Park also this is where I love to come and take pictures hopefully you'll be able to see why I came out here with my daughter and son-in-law and we did their senior pictures now I'm going to look up here at this tree. You see this plant? This is mistletoe. You know the, the little thing that the plant that you use to stand under and get somebody to give you a kiss at Christmas? Well, it grows on trees. We're going to walk all the way to the water. And look, I wonder what that building used to be. I didn't grow up here my whole life. Sometimes I'm interested in, you know, what things used to be. There are things that I can remember that used to be in Elizabeth City that are not here anymore. Over here is a statue of something. Let's see what that is. No, oh, this is, I don't know what it says other than what it says at the bottom. It says, Thus far the Lord has helped us. 1 Samuel 7 12, RBC class of 2007. I 
see some geese. Hopefully you'll be able to see them as well. It gets really, really shallow over here. So I don't want to get too close because I don't want to get my feet wet. keep looking on the ground to see if I see anything interesting. These geese are definitely swimming away from me. You notice that? Oh, he's walking now. It's shallow enough. Um, we're going to turn and go over here to the bridge because that's one of my favorite parts of the park. And look at this pretty tree right over here. When I get on the other side, we'll get a close-up of it. It's got some beautiful purple flowers. This would be a great place to come for a picnic. I used to love playing on this. Um, this bridge. Oh, look, a cool spider web. I don't know if you can really see it. There's another one on this side. So again, I don't know if you can really see. Oh, Lord, there's a dead fish. Let me see if I can get you to see that. Oh, I just stuck my hand in a spider web. Oh, he's not dead. Did you just see him move? He's not dead yet. Yeah, he's still alive, but he's not not moving very much. He's not breathing very much. I wonder what happened to him. Whew, there was a little hole here. Another thing is I brought my kids out here and taken pictures on this bridge. See, there's a, another huge spider web. I'm looking in the water to see if we see anything interesting trying to see how close that fish is because maybe I can stand on this little thing over here. I don't know if I can jump that far without falling in. Oh, here's this tree again. Look at the flowers and the leaves. Continue. Oh, the geese are on our side now. And some birds. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to scare them all. Or make them poop on me or something. Now, on this side, I can tell you about some stories. So, when the water is shallow over here, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll... I'll show you in a second. Then it gets sandy. And so, when I was a girl and I'd ride my bike out here, then I would, um, I would come out here, especially if it was sandy. But one time, I made a um, message in a bottle, and I don't even know what I wrote in the message, but. I wrote the message and then I threw it out in the water. So, who knows whatever happened to it, if anybody ever found the message in the bottle or not. But that was one of the things that I did when I was a kid out here. 
And when I'm saying a kid between 12 and 15, um, I came out here and all the time rode my bike. And there's some noise. Well, those apartments weren't there when I was when I was growing up here. But isn't that beautiful? Hopefully you can see why I like to come and just sit out here and um, look at the water. It just is soothing to me. And there's some more geese on that end. I'm not going to walk all the way down there in another beautiful tree. But that is our adventure for today. We're going to walk around this little... Oh, let's walk back and see if we see the fish. <clears throat> if we can get a close-up of him and see if we can find out what's going on with him. breeze is blowing a little bit more so maybe he got pushed out some. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah, I do, but he's on the other side. I'm not going to try to get on that thing. Let's, let's cross the bridge again and see if I can get a close-up of him. And then we'll walk around the pond. Well, it's not really a pond, but I call it a pond. He's definitely still breathing and moving, but he must be sick or something. Because he's definitely not swimming. Okay. Sorry, little fish. He's pretty, though. Okay, we're going to continue around this way without crossing the bridge. I think it's beautiful out here. See some trash in there. If I had some gloves, I'd get it out. Lots of poop on this side. Where I did my morning workout this morning, there was a little bit, but not very much. Okay. And now we're going to head back to where we started. Now, as you can see, it's a beautiful place tucked away in our city. 
Thank you for joining.